おはようございます。ちょっとあのいつもどこかでしょ。Let's go once again. Right now we are in Kyoto. So if I have to describe somehow, let's wait for white car first. Let's have some noise. Good morning, everyone. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ohayou gozaimasu. Good morning, everyone. My name is Roman Sudarikov, and welcome to our channel. On this channel, you will find travel videos, spicy stuff photography, mostly from Japan, but occasionally also from other destinations. Mm -hmm. I like uh, nature, historical locations, and prefer scholarly destinations. So, if it is something you are also interested in, I would definitely recommend you to subscribe. Yes. Right now, we are in Kyoto. And uh, every single video of my channel have been starting from Kyoto or have been shot here in Kyoto, so it's safe to assume that we actually live here in Kyoto. Mm. And just a bit about ourselves. So I was born in Estonia, and when I was 11 years old, I moved to Finland. Mm -hmm. Basically, I spent most of my life there. Mm -hmm. And uh, to Japan, I moved one year and three months ago, and I also lived here for one year, seven years ago. And how about you? Um, I'm from China, and uh, I have been here in Kyoto. Uh, almost seven years. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, six years. And uh, Kyoto is one of my favorite city. Yeah, Kyoto is also my favorite city, and this is also the reason why I moved here for the second time. But uh, today we are not going to explore the Kyoto, but uh, other city, which is uh, next to the Kyoto. Mm -hmm. The name of the place is Uji. So if I have to describe somehow uh, Uji, I would say that it is a small version of uh, Kyoto. It has a lot of history because it was located between two ancient uh, capital cities of Japan, mm -hmm. Kyoto and um, Nara. Mm -hmm. And there is also a lot of nature. Each season of the year has something special. And of course, uh, cherry blossom season and uh, uh, autumn leaf season are the most popular ones. But right now, there is a lot of Ajisai flowers, which you actually see in front of uh, us and also behind of us. So we are going to see first. So it was getting too loud there, so we had to change uh, our location. And uh, it's uh, actually rainy season right now in Japan, so it's having rainy for a few days, and because of that, it is not hot, so hot today. But today, the weather should be fine from what I checked beforehand. It's going to be a bit cloudy, but it's actually maybe a good thing. And uh, by the end of the day, it actually should be sunny already. And we are not going to the Kyoto station as we usually do, because uh, this time we are going to take a hand line. And uh, we will have to change train once, but uh, it's only two minutes of waiting. And if you are from going to Uji from Kyoto Station, you can actually also take another line, GR Nara line, to get there. And I just noticed here, as actually, you can see in different places a lot of uh, Ajisai flowers right now here in Kyoto. But where we are going, there should be a lot of them, a lot more time here. And uh, yeah. Let's go.
Very close to the station, right before the Uji Bridge, there is a small wooden house. You see it right now on the left. It is 20, the oldest tea house in Japan, founded in 1160. Uji is incredibly famous for its green tea. But before continuing exploring Uji, just a bit of information how to get there. There are actually two Uji stations. The one you just have is Keihan Railway Uji Station. The second one, Jir Uji Station, is located on the water side of the river. Jir Narrow Line is faster and cheaper way to get to Uji. You also don't have to change train as we did, and if you have Jir Pass, it will be free for you. Jir Lines goes from Kyoto Station. But if you are located in Kyoto somewhere along Kamogawa River, as we do, Keihan Line would be a lot more convenient, because you will not need to get to Kyoto Station first. Also, many very popular locations, such as Kion, Kiyomizudera, and so on, are closer to Keihan than Jir which can be very convenient if you have limited time and would like to combine destinations. In some rare cases, depending on your location, itinerary and the time of the day, it might also make sense to change from Keihan to Jir at Tofuguchi station, to save a few minutes. But it will also cost you more. So we have arrived to Uji. I don't know if you can hear me because there is a lot of cars close to us, but I hope you can still hear us. And uh, yeah, we are walking right now Uji Bridge. It is uh, quite famous because it is one of the reasons why the town developed here. Uji Bridge is one of the famous old bridges of Japan. So I don't think that there is much need of an explanation because you can just see by yourself. This place just isn't any beautiful. I was able to get a bit of an aerial footage for this log, but unfortunately I had to shoot kind of in the wrong direction because it is prohibited to fly over the city or the river. I'm flying right now over the forested mountains. Shooting in the opposite direction would have given a completely different picture of this place, which is located on the edge of a densely inhabited flat area and mountains. Right after the bridge on the left side, there is a small monument representing a woman with a book. It is Murasaki Shikibu, the author of Genji Monogatari, or The Tale of Genji, which is considered to be the oldest novel in the world written in the early 11th century. Uji is the place where events of the last chapters of the book take place. There is also The Tale of Genji Museum in Uji. We didn't visit it on this trip, but we will pass it later so that I can show you its location. So far, there hasn't been much food-related content on this channel. But can't notice some interesting stuff she wanted to try. And to make it even more fun, I decided to follow it with an announcement. Uji is very famous for the green tea. But basically, you can find anything with a flower 
of green tea. And today we have one special room. Today, as a challenge, we have to eat only food which is uh, green tea flowered. And uh, here we're going to try uh, gyoza and also takoyaki balls. Usually, both of them doesn't have much of flour, but this time we will eat them in uh, matcha. ご意見お願いします。うん。美味しい。うん。うん。タコの抹茶の味はそんなに強くない。普通のタコ焼きの同じが。うん。でも結構美味しい。ダンプリングス。そうすまない。なんかニンニクの味がもっと強いです。結構。うん、美味しい。でも美味しいならそれは一番大切ですね。うん。なんか味が豊富。野菜と肉とあとニンニクの味全部ある。抹茶の味もある。美味しい。これはおすすめ。うん。このセットがおすすめです。全部で900円。So it is my turn to try them. Now first I'm going to try takoyaki. Octopus balls. Yeah, it does definitely have some uh, matcha flour in them, but uh, it's not so strong and so... Uh, it's quite mild. Uh, okay. And... Uh, let's try next with gyoza. Actually, when I used to, be, to live in Estonia, uh, the dumplings used to be my favorite food, so... Let's see if I also like the matcha version of them. The matcha taste is differently in first, but uh, it's quite mild. And uh, if I have to choose one, and I probably will go with gyoza. I like more the gyoza. Oishi. <laughs> Those are good. I like them. It's not going to be a big change for us to eat all, only matcha all day.
So right now we are at the Biodoin Temple, which can be found on the back of a Ten Yen coin. And uh, behind me is a Phoenix Hall. Originally it was built as a villa about 1,000 years ago, but then about 60 years later it was converted to a temple. If I have to translate the name of the temple, Biodoin, to English, I would say it's a hall of equality. So what is special about this temple is that it doesn't belong to any sect of Buddhism. So it's kind of, kind of equal for everyone. And uh, right now it's undergoing some renovation inside, so we cannot really go inside. But usually it is possible to purchase separately uh, guided tours. And just to mention, Biodain belongs to UNESCO World Heritage Sites. It is under the name uh, Historical Monuments of Kyoto. And there is also a very nice museum. So it's not, it's not only the beautiful scenery which you can see here, but also a lot of history. The museum is not big at all, but if we take into account that this is a museum of just a single temple, I will go so far and say that it's relatively huge. Here quality is definitely over quantity. The museum hosts a lot of artifacts which are designated as national treasures. Of course, filming inside is strictly prohibited, so I could only go this far. On the next day after a visit, I came alone to Biodoin to get some extra footage. Please enjoy the tour.
it was starting to get a bit hot in the sun, so we decided to get ice creams. I am sorry, I don't have our conversation in the shop recorded, because I forgot to turn on the mic. So we just bought the ice creams and uh, one of them is not actually matcha, but uh, we are allowed to eat it also because it's just different type of tea. So both of them from the tea, one is matcha and the other one is just different tea. Kojicha. Kojicha. Mm. Kojicha. I will google that and then put it on the screen what it is exactly. Okay, let's try this one first. Yeah, it's actually quite good. And the other one, I will definitely go with the green one. Yeah, yeah, green one is better one. In my opinion. <laughs> mm. Mm. もちろん、こっちちゃんも悪くない。でも、町の方がいいですね。うん。こっちの方。なんか抹茶の味が濃い。抹茶の味が濃い。美味しい。うん。早く聞いて食べて。I will do it's probably very strange to have a camera like that. Ah,すごいし、気持ちいい。うん、ちょっと、あ、ちょっと。な、でも、あ、うまい。だめ。出すぎ。こっちの方が好きって言ったんです。そうですけど、もう、佐賀味みたい。もう終わった。そっか。<
I think the road we are taking right now is quite good, and if you are coming to Uji, I would recommend to start planning your trip from something like this, because this way you will make a full circle which you haven't to walk much of the same path twice, and then just add side roads depending on what else you would like to see. Right after crossing the river, we found one more statue related to Genji Monogatari, the tale of Genji. This one was depicting a scene from the novel. As far as I know, in total, there are only two Genji Monogatari statues in Uji. This one and the one we saw before. Here, after the bridge, also starts a stone paved road to the Uji Jinja. There are many Shinto shrines in Uji, but Uji Shrine and Uji Gami Shrine are the main ones. They are located very close to each other and used to be one until being separated a bit over 100 years ago. The most important one, which is also an UNESCO World Heritage Site, is Uji Gami Shrine. It is located a bit further away, but both shrines are lined up nicely on the road, so it is hard not to visit the first one too. Before entering a temple or a shrine, everyone should wash their hands and mouth to purify themselves from evil and pollution. The ritual is called Temisu. There is a specific way to do it. So first, left hand, right hand, then I pour the bit in the left hand, and then my mouth, and then both hands.
So the building behind me is Ujigami Shinto Shrine. It is said to be the oldest Shinto Shrine here in Japan. It is not the oldest one by the, how long ago it was established, but it is the oldest one by the age of the building itself. It is said to be 950 years old, about, and uh, it's also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There is no record about when the Honda or the main hall was built exactly. The estimation that it was built around 1060 is based on the digital dendrochronology. It is also said that it was closely related to Byodun Temple, that is the one visited earlier today. Byodun was converted to a temple in 1052. The building in front of the Honden is Haiden, or Hall of Worship. It is also historically very important. Haiden of Ujigami Shrine dates back to early Kamakura period, that is to say it's about 750 to 800 years old. Both Honden and Haiden are designated as national treasures by Japanese government. There are also some other structures which are important cultural property. After visiting Ujigami Shrine, we headed to the main destination for trip, which is Mimurotoji Temple, or Mimuroto Temple. Ji in the name actually means temple. As always, we chose to walk, which took us about half an hour to get there. If you are any of two Uji train stations or somewhere along the main road, you can also take bus number 40 or 250 to get there. But there is no bus directly from Ujigami Shrine. <laughs> On our way to Mimorotoji, we passed the tale of Genji Museum. Unfortunately, we had only two hours left to see the flowers, so there was no time for the museum. Although I wanted to check out that too. I still haven't been there. From the outside, the museum looks very modern and elegant. Actually, I've already visited the tale of Genji Museum for three times. It's a small but beautiful place. It shows the words of the novel, especially the woody part of it. On display, there are things like ancient scrolls, images, models, reading scenes from the book and so on. You can see how people use it to dress. There is also a small movie theater, where you can enjoy a 20 minutes long short film. So, if you would like to see how the life was like 1000 years ago, it's a nice place to check out. More green tea. So what you just saw is I was trying to drink the full bottle at once, but it kind of failed because uh, it was so cold, so I couldn't drink it all at once. My teeth were freezing, so I have to give up. But, but anyway, we have been drinking only green tea here so far. Mm. <laughs> Mimorotoji is also officially known as Flower Temple, which is not a surprise because I don't remember having seen any other temple with so many flowers as here, with one exception, cherry blossom in spring, when basically all Japan is covered with the white and pink flowers. There are also some other temples in Japan which carry the same Flower Temple nickname, but what makes Mimorotoji special is that it has many different flowers blooming one after another. 
It all starts with cherry blossom in the beginning of April, and then one month later there is azalea or tuzuji in Japanese. In this log you will see a jisai, or handrangea, which blooms here in June. Its season ends up in the beginning of July. After that, later in the summer, it's the time of lotus. A turn to flower, from late November to early December, the trees will turn yellow and red. Uji in general is very famous for autumn leaves. As you can see, it is right time to visit this place almost at any time of the year, even in the rainy season like now. To be completely honest with you, I felt that this year there are less flowers compared to a visit one year ago. It wasn't only me. I've heard many Japanese visitors, some of which are probably locals, talking, but this year there seems to be less flowers than usually. This trip was on 17th of June 2019. During that day, I concentrated mostly on filming just us, so we are not stuck in one place for too long. And then, the next day, 18th of June, I came along to Uji to film extra footage of surrounding for this long. Even after the second day of filming, I still felt that I don't have enough from Imura to Ji and was wondering if our visit was too early. So, one week later, on 25th of June, I visited this place for the third time. There were more flowers, but I did still wear the same talk. It seems that 2019 was not the best year for Ajisai. I felt a bit disappointed that I cannot show you this place at its best, but that only forced me to work harder with what I have. Please enjoy what I got.
Okay. So we are now at Mimorotoji and there is only 10 minutes left before we will close gate for what reason there is only a few people left. And uh, I'm a bit disappointed with today's flowers because last year when I was here there was a lot of them and uh, I also heard other people's talk where they were saying that today, this year it wasn't so beautiful as it used to be. So I compared to last year it was definitely less flowers. But anyway this place is very beautiful with all the greens and uh, nature surrounding us and the temples. So even if it is not well, a Ajisai season is definitely worth coming here.
先生も何が起こってるか分かるんですよ。We just went to c o m b i n i and when I wasn't looking, I was actually trying to buy some cola. But、uh, I noticed that on time, and what we got, we got some green tea and more green tea. <laughs> ah, it's time. No, 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 no. Oishi, Oishi. Ah, I'm so thirsty. So it's Sugoku Oishi. Next one. Go to Ramis Butcher. So let's change. You get that? My food. It's true. It's not the same. Hahaha. It was soon to be five o'clock, and temples are closed. So it was time for us to relax and get some food. There are a lot of very famous green tea shops in Uji, many of which, in addition to selling the tea itself, also have wide variety of other matcha flower products. I may have some kind of cafe or restaurant too. We chose Ito Okuyemon Uji Head Shop. Mostly because it was the closest one of the most popular shops. But in Uji, there are so many extremely famous shops that just by randomly entering some place, you probably end up in one of those. We had to wait for an empty table, so we explored the shop until we called our name. Ito Okuyemon is very famous for its green tea soba noodles and matcha desserts. I ordered matcha zaro soba set with mini parfait. I can order herring soba set also with mini parfait. At the moment of editing this video, Ito Okuyemon is listed at TripAdvisor as second best place for desserts in Uchi. Ito Okuyemon is also famous for the matcha curry which we brought to prepare at home. For those who would like to buy some alcohol, we also do some unique matcha liqueurs to open collaboration with sake breweries of Kyoto. In this video, I cannot go through all the green tea houses of Uchi, but I would like to mention some of the most important ones so we could have some idea. Ito Kyomon has also other shops in Uchi. The one you are seeing right now is very close to the JR Uchi station. Close to the JR Uchi station is also Nakamura Tokichi main store, which is probably the busiest shop in Uchi. Most of the time when we visited it, there have been an insanely huge queue, which only tells how good the desserts are. Nakamura Tokichi is listed first for desserts in Uchi. I was able to get some footage of a shop area with show people only because it was almost close in time during a low season. Nakamura Tokichi brand was established in 1854. It is known for being purveyor to the Japanese imperial family and also having some unique to them tea blends. Nakamura Tokichi main store is designated in Portugal cultural landscape. It is an old tea factory from Edo period which was renovated into a restaurant in 2001. If your schedule is not tight and you don't mind that you might have to wait for a while, I will highly recommend you to try their desserts. The next place I would like to mention is Tsujiri Hei Honte Uji Main Shop. Although it's not really located so far, only about 5 minutes from GR Uji Station, it is still kind of away from everything else on the opposite side of the train tracks. This disadvantage is also its advantage. It has the most relaxed and widest atmosphere to enjoy the tea and the sweets. The design of all traditional building is also very impressive. From all the shops I have seen, both the products and the place of Tsujiri Hei have the most luxurious feeling to them. Unfortunately, I can only show you the shop because I cannot bother other guests. Established in 1860, Tsujiri Hei is known for its utmost quality and has been awarded with honors by Emperor for their innovation and contribution to the history of Ujiti. In the morning, we passed a small wooden house standing next to the Uji Bridge. It is 2NT, the oldest tea house in Japan and probably in the whole world. It was founded in 1160 when a retired samurai decided to start selling tea to the people crossing the bridge. The current building is from 1672. The tea houses mentioned so far has been scattered around the city, but the biggest concentration of shops and restaurants in one place is Biodo in Omote Sando. It is the shopping street leading to Biodo in Temple, where we tried matcha octopus balls and dumplings this morning. Here you will find also branches of Nakamura Tokichi and Tito Kyuemon, which I have already introduced.
On visit is also located one more very old house of Uji. It is Mitsuboshi and Kambayashi Sanyu Honten, which dates from the 16th century. It is famous for providing tea to a shogunate. The place is not so fancy as some previously mentioned. It is very modest, but it is one of the highly recommended tea houses, especially if you like to learn how to prepare the tea yourself and in process also get a bit of knowledge about the tea in general and its history. If you would like to get a much of cream, the best one is said to be prepared by Master Chia Ho, which is located at the end of his street. And if you still would prefer Starbucks, there are actually one just around the corner. This list is by no means complete. It does not even include store brands like Taihuan or Fukujian where you saw us buying ice creams earlier today. This is just to give you a starting point for planning your trip. And there is actually one more indispensable topic, which I unfortunately had to leave outside of this block completely to keep the length of a video even somehow in check. There are many green tea factories which you could visit to learn more about the production and the history of the Uji tea. Okay, enough of a break, let's continue with our walk. So we took a small break and uh, we ordered some uh, green tea soba noodles in restaurant and we rested there for a bit and now we are back to the river. And uh, actually from here we had uh, two possibilities what we would do today. Uh, one thing I was thinking about is to go to hike the mountain which is close, I have been there already and take some time lapse from there. And what a possibility, what I was thinking for today evening is to hike a bit uh, along the river to uh, between the mountains and see old bridge there. I haven't been there yet, so I kind of want my, myself to go there more. And here is no class at all, at all at the sky at the moment, so it doesn't make sense for me to take any time lapse video, so it's quite clear, but uh, we will go to check a bit in the, what is upstream there. Yeah, and we have about one and a half hour until sunset right now. Yeah. Let's go check some places which we have st still been to. <laughs> yeah, here. Here's <laughs> game. I've been thinking about you. I'm waiting for it all to come true.
So we arrived to a bridge, which I wanted to see, and uh, we arrived here even faster than what I was expecting. It's actually quite close. And uh, do you want to <laughs> so we arrived to a bridge we wanted to see, the name of the bridge, Amagatsatsuri Bridge. And uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite beautiful here around. There is, of course, car roads on both sides of the river, but otherwise it's, the place is beautiful. And it wasn't so far, actually. It uh, doesn't took us long to walk until here. And uh, you can, for example, also rent a bicycle and come here also if you would like to. And I actually would like to see what is there. There should be also a few bridges, and after that there is also a dam. Uh, Uji River, which is floating to throw the city, is actually coming from the Bivako Lake. So there should be quite big dam. And uh, this might be one of the uh, topic of one of my next blocks. If I will, I will see. Maybe I will explore also this area later. でも今日の意見とか、うちはどう？今日はで撮影は大変だったね。そうです。忙しいと感じてたんです。でも意外とあの観光客はそんなに多くなかったですね。うん、だ撮影は大変だけど、でもすごく楽しかったです。で、あと今日はずっと食べ、あの、食べたかった。えっと、抹茶餃子を食べましたので、あの、一応大満足でした。で、あと次は多分あの橋で、あとあの橋の元後ろのところに、えっと、あと山登りとかも、うん、登りた
we are back in Kyoto and usually at this point I say that I'm very tired and so on but this time I'm actually not so tired it's probably have something to do with the fact that uh, uh, Uji is very very close to Kyoto yeah and uh, it was very fun I had a lot of filming to do so it was also a very hectic day for us too but otherwise it was very very fun and I would definitely recommend going to Uji it's a very very beautiful place I don't I have repeated that already probably quite many times and uh, I would like to say thank you for everyone who have been watching this video until now because it's going to be probably very very long so thank you very much and uh, if you like the video I will also uh, ask you if you could subscribe because a lot of contact is on the way. I will try to produce videos as much as possible, but it's taking me quite a lot of time just to make one. But I will do my best and uh, thank you for watching once again and uh, yeah, see you, on, see you on our next trip. Bye bye. <laughs> Oyasuminasai. Oyasuminasai. Good night. Good night.